Four common misperceptions about personal injury claims. Number one is at the scene of the accident, if you tell the investigating officer, the EMTs, I'm not hurt, I'm okay, people think you're not allowed to bring a claim for personal injuries later. Well, in fact, you probably can. A lot of times when there's an accident, people's adrenaline is going crazy. You don't really feel anything at the scene. And if you tell the officers, the ambulance people, you don't need an ambulance, you're okay, then you probably feel that way at the scene. But then you wake up the next morning and oh my gosh, all kinds of pain. Well, go get yourself checked out, go to the doctors. And if you do actually have accident related injuries, then you oftentimes can successfully bring a claim for personal injuries, even though you told the officer, you told the uh, tech at the scene that you were not injured. So second misconception is that you cannot file a claim if you're partly to blame. In a lot of states, as long as you are less than 50% at fault for the accident, you can still bring a successful claim for personal injuries. Now, the way this works is let's say you bring a claim, you go to trial, the jury awards $100,000. Well, if you're 25% at fault, then what happens is that 25% of fault will be deducted from the award. So if it was a $100,000 award, 25% is knocked off the top, leaving $75,000 remaining. Again, this is in many states. There are a handful of states that don't allow you to bring a claim if you have some fault, but in the vast majority of states, you can bring a claim, claim even if you are at fault, as long as it's not more than 50%. Number three, you must give a statement to the insurance companies. Now, after an accident, you may get called up by the insurance company for the other driver, and they're gonna ask you to make a statement. Do you absolutely positively have to? No, um, most jurisdictions, you do not. Now, if you get a call from your own insurance company telling you, hey, we're going to do a recorded statement, um, this is a little bit different. Some insurance contracts have language in it that says you must cooperate with the investigation. In addition to that, it is important for you to give a recorded statement as that is considered part of cooperating with the investigation. Uh, some states may prohibit this, so definitely take a look at your contract and the jurisdiction you're in. If you do need to give a recorded statement, it would not hurt to talk to a personal injury lawyer beforehand to find out a little bit more about what you should and should not do. So number four <laughs> misconception is that the police report is always right. Um, if there is an auto accident and somebody gets cited and the report says they're at fault, they may very well be at fault. However, the investigating officers don't always have all of the evidence at the time they make their conclusion. So if there are later found documents, films, videos, uh, computer downloads that show otherwise, um, there is an opportunity to change the officer's findings. For example, an officer gets to the scene, looks at the debris field, asks both drivers what happened and based on what the officer sees reaches a conclusion well if it turns out later the 7-eleven at the corner had a video camera pointing at the parking lot which also caught the accident in the roadway and the video shows what happened well if the officer saw that video the officer might have a completely different conclusion so just because there is a conclusion in the police report that's not gospel and that actually can be changed depending on evidence that's found later